Call the meeting order, please. Call the roll. Mr. Burley? Here. Here. Dr. McFadden? Here. Mr. Rickman? Here. Mr. Voorhees? Here. Uh, indicate that Trustee Monk and Secretary Walker are not here as of yet. Uh, next on the agenda, Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Next on the agenda of citizens' comments, this is a portion of the meetings where you, the citizens, can address the board with any of your comments, questions, or concerns. Be mindful that you have three minutes to which to make your statements or inquiries. Also, be mindful you may not receive a response from your inquiries this evening. And last but not least, I ask that you address all your comments, statements, or inquiries to the chair. The agenda is now open for citizens' comments. My name is Mary Campbell. I'm the Mount Clemens Teacher Association president, and I would like to address the intent of the school board to lay off teaching staff for the 2018-2019 school year. On Tuesday, Mrs. Davis shared the layoff list with me and said she would be willing to meet with me to go over the list and my address my concerns with it. I am pleased that Mrs. Davis will meet with me because I have a number of concerns. Many of the concerns are ones that I have shared with her throughout the school year. Some of the decisions in regards to who will be laid off are, in my opinion, clearly a I'm sorry, in my opinion, are clearly against board policy 3131, a current letter of understanding regarding the GSRP positions and state laws. <clears throat> there are staff members who are concerned that these safety net layoffs and I are, who are concerned about these safety net layoffs. And I need to be able to reassure them that these decisions are justifiable, ba justifiable based on board policy, our current letter of understanding and state laws. Our district cannot afford the lawsuits which will develop from the current list as presented to me. <clears throat> Although I don't support the decision to lay off any EA members, if the decision stands, I will look forward to finding a solution that is fair to our students and teaching staff. Thank you for your comments. <clears throat> the agenda is still open for citizens' comments. Well, let's see if anybody else okay. wants to address first. <clears throat> Agenda is still open for citizens' comments. I also wanted to take this opportunity to um, thank Josie for her dedication to our district and wish her well in her new position. She will be missed by many of us, and I will myself miss her the most. So good luck. Thank you for your comments. <clears throat> Next on the agenda, the consent agenda. Under the consent agenda this evening, item A, approval of the minutes for the Ju June 18th, 2018 public hearing, the regular meeting, and the July 9th, 2018 board workshop. Also under the consent agenda, item B, approval of bills for payment. Those are the items under the consent agenda. Mr. President, I'll move that we approve the minutes of the June 18th meeting. I'm sorry, the June 18th public hearing, the June 18th regular meeting, and the July 9th board workshop. Moved by Mr. Voorhees to approve the minutes of the June 18th, 2018 public hearing, uh, the minutes of the June 18th, 2018 regular meeting, and the June, July 9th, 2018 board workshop. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Monk. Discussion on the motion on the floor. Hearing or seeing none, call the roll, please. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mr. Bruley? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mr. McFadden, Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. Next, the approval of the bills for payment. Chair would entertain a motion. I'm sorry, Mr. Bruley. Yeah, I would move. 
moved by Mr. Bruley to approve the bills for payment. Support. Second by Ms. Escalante. Any questions, discussion on the motion on the floor? Mr. Bruley. Yeah, uh, we, the committee met yesterday and we went over all the bills one by one. We found everything to be in order and so that's why we're moving the approval of the bills. Thank you, Mr. Bruley. Any further questions, comments, concerns on the motion on the floor? Hearing and seeing none, call the roll, please. Mr. Bruley? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? <coughs> yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion <coughs> carries. <coughs> item six, this is an action item. Uh, it's the policies for second reading. Mr. Monk, you don't want to share anything with the board uh, regarding the second reading of the policies. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we met um, <coughs> on <coughs> Monday, um, our adjustment meeting, because of uh, superintendent time schedule. Um, once again, um, we have policies that are um, came up for review and for readoption um, for um, federal, state, and local laws. Um, Want, just to point out uh, one of the other ones, and as we stated about four um, meetings ago that we will start reviewing all of the policies. Um, one of the ones that we found was our official um, address has changed from the house to the building. Uh, building means our, our central campus, so uh, we changed the uh, address on that. Um, we also, um, we're submitting for second, uh, for adoption. Um, the uh, adjustments that we had to make to the uh, evaluation of the superintendent based on the new state uh, 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 superintendent evaluation. Um, and we also, um, just kind of reading through my notes, I apologize here. I do apologize for being late also. Um, attendance policy, you know, this board has um, made it well known that um, we um, have concerns about the attendance um, in the district. So we uh, re-looked at the attendance um, along with um, when we met on Monday, uh, the superintendent presented to the committee um, a draft of the, um, how can I say it? Admin guidelines. Admin guidelines. Um, that will be put in place to um, to uh, enact a uh, intervention before it gets to the point where is that students uh, will will, um, will have bad attendance. Uh, we we I mean this board definitely recognizes that if your students are not here, if the if the kids are not in the classrooms, how can they be taught? Um, and we are in the teaching business. Um, so we were very pleased with the draft that the superintendent laid out for us. Uh, I don't know if she's going to do a presentation tonight on that or not. No? Yeah, we we want to tweak it a little. Okay. All right. Um, but we definitely um, um, was pleased with the, uh, with the start. Um, and we uh, re reiterized that this policy will begin with our 2018-19 school year. Um, and it's in its most importance. Um, other than that, those policies are in the uh, in your board packet. Um, I will entertain any questions or anything if, if any of my members have them at this time. Okay, we have let's see one, two, three, four. Looks like four for second reading and approval if yes I'm sir reading correctly what's the will of the board you want to do them individually or collectively or it's up, up to the will of the board is all these policies uh, required by law <clears throat> some of them are yes i mean for this uh this first group oh the first group yes um, i mean definitely you know we need to have our correct address um and all these are policies that um yes require some are required by law but some are policies that we as a board um, re-looked, re retweaked, and going forward um, for, the, for, the, for the upcoming school year. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. President, I move that um, policy for second reading, policy 0110. Uh, 
I move that be approved. Moved by Dr. McFadden, policy 0110, official description, address revised, be, be adopted. Is there support? Support. Second by Mr. Monk. Any questions, comments on the motion on the floor? Hearing and seeing none, call the roll, please. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Mr. Bruley? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. Mr. President, I move that policy 1240, evaluation of the superintendent, which is revised, be adopted. It's moved by Dr. McFadden that policy 1240, the evaluation of the superintendent, revised, uh, be adopted. Mr. President, I'll second that. Second by Mr. Voorhees. Any questions, discussions? Mr. Bruley. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in support of this. But what I think we also need to have, and we need to have it um, by August, is a calendar with all of these dates, along with the other dates we've been talking about regarding administrative evaluation and teacher evaluation and other pertinent things be put together from August to August so that we go into this knowing what August should have on the agenda, September should have, November, <coughs> and, and we don't get caught and then we can add to that as we know further dates, but we should at least start with um, the dates that we do know about in the evaluatory area so that we're not behind in that sense. I would also like to include a budgetary uh, goals when we talk about those, when is our budget to be adopted? It's usually <coughs> June and we have the three times a year we do the budget adjustments and, and that, but having that known ahead of time I think is helpful. So Mr. Brood, are you saying you want that added to the no, this policy? No, I just want to say it publicly. I, I think the superintendent's in accord with this, but I think we should try to have this by August um, before the beginning of the school year because then things start to happen and other priorities come up. So I'm supporting your motion. Okay. We did talk about it at the meeting, so we're going to be putting together a calendar for the board. Any additional questions, comments, discussion on the motion on the floor? Hearing or seeing none, call the roll, please. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mr. Bruley? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. No, second reading. That's, that's second reading is adoption. Yeah. Uh, policy C, 5136, personnel, personal communication devices revised. Chair would entertain a motion. So moved. Moved by Mr. Monk. Support. To approve the policy 5136, second by Ms. Escalante. Are there any questions, comments, concerns on the motion on the floor? Mr. Monk. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Just to give just a tad bit, a little bit background on this. This is a uh, personal communication device um, that we felt that we need to um, revisit and, and, and tweak um, along with, you know, we as a district um, are really going to start, you know, not that we haven't, but we're really going <coughs> to make sure that uh, nothing gets in the way of a child's um, education. And we feel that personal communication advice um, being handled in the hallway in between classes is a distraction um, to the environment of the school. Um, the policy says that they can have it out at lunch. The policy said that they can use it inside of a classroom when it pertains to a subject and hey, they have permission by a teacher. But you know, kids walking down a hallway um, with headphones in their head, with a, with, a, with a cell phone listening to music, you don't know. Fire breaks out, they can't hear nothing because they just hit, they just hit Drake in their ears. So um, we just tweak that where it's at. Um, they cannot have those communication devices out in between classes. Thank you, Mr. Monk. <clears throat> Any additional questions, comments, concerns on the motion on the floor? Um, 
I'm just trying to see what's the penalty. Do we have a penalty in here or anything, or that's something that's going to be at the building level? That'll be at, yeah, building level. Any additional questions, comments, concerns on the motion on the floor? Hearing or seeing none, call the roll, please. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Bruley? <coughs> yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, policy D, 5200. Attendance revised. So moved. Moved by Dr. McFadden. Support. Second by Mr. Monk. Any questions, comments, discussion on the motion on the floor? Mr. Bruley? Um, yeah, I just want to thank uh, the superintendent for uh, making sure that we had a subcommittee of administrators uh, to talk about this and to begin that process. Uh, when we met for the curriculum committee, we had a, a real good discussion, I think. Um, we, we made some suggestions in terms of how we saw it and went back and forth, and I, I think it was really positive. My understanding is there's going to be a meeting on the 24th um, where those other revisions and suggestions of people are going to be taken into consideration and then after that fact uh, it might be good for us to have a workshop um, related to that before we would do official approval I think that the the guidelines are uh, helpful to the policy the policy uh, could be construed as more um, official sort of penalty but I think we're looking at this as not that way we want to make sure that there is help given where help is needed uh, we don't want um, a situation to occur where a student is not coming to school because they have a health problem that's chronic and we need to fix that that they have a parental <coughs> home situation where people have working hours that aren't conducive we need to fix that so we want to take out of a punitive nature anything that involves things that we should work with the family to fix uh, but there may be cases in which um, were ignored and no matter whatever help we try to offer is not accepted and then in that case we need to have this kind of a policy uh, to back us up um, so I, I think we're trying to make a good headway and the reason I'm talking a lot about this is because I think people in the school community should know that the board is really focused on this and it isn't just a regular endeavor um, of some kind but that uh, the we want the principals and the administrative team and the others and this isn't just something that the superintendent is saying oh here do more work um, that this is something that we also want to pursue so thank you any additional questions comments concerns on the motion on the floor hearing or seeing none call the roll please dr. McFadden yes mr. monk yes mrs. Escalante yes mr. Bruley yes mr. Voorhees yes mr. Rickman yes motion carries Moving the agenda, item, informational items, item 7, 18 mil renewal. Okay. Any information for that? Uh, one, I just want to um, let the board know that we have filed an, um, with the clerk's office um, for our 18 mil renewal um, for the November election. Um, uh, we got confirmation that um, they do have our application and that will be on um, the ballot for November. Any questions? Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Any questions on item eight, the budget personnel report? And what we were looking at that, just to um, remind of, of the um, budget that was approved at our last um, meeting in June. And in that, um, we did indicate that there would be some uh, layoffs, uh, what we call safety layoffs. Um, going uh, that will be handed out this summer and we did do this a couple now it's been about three years ago uh, where we were somewhat in the same situation that um, 
depending on our enrollment, uh, we wanted to uh, make some adjustments. So in order to make sure that uh, we meet our guidelines, um, those uh, notices uh, will be going out on Friday, and I will be contacting um, those employees personally and letting them know um, what the situation is. But they do not take effect until the Friday after, if it is even necessary. It, they would not take effect until uh, the Friday after count day in September. And so uh, we were um, very blessed the last time we had to send these out. Um, we were able to call all of our um, staff members back. Um, so um, we're hoping that we're not, uh, not even lose any kids, but we'll gain some. We've had some uh, really good um, conversation with parents that are moving into the district and some that are using schools of choice um, in, the, in September. So, um, you know, we're very hopeful that we'll be a repeat of 2015. Ms. Davis, I just have one comment, and yes, that will be that when you prepare that list and it's presented to us, that it be some to either numbers mm -hmm. or however you okay. want to do that, but that names are not on okay. that list. Right. Okay. And, yeah, because what we ended up doing, because um, we did talk about the numbers, but I will um, get that again yeah. to you guys and just send it out yeah. so yeah. you can see yeah. the numbers. But, I yeah. mean, that's so you can identify them, but the, the, yes. I just don't want names on there. Yeah, absolutely. Mr. Monk. Thank you, Mr. President. You know, I don't like layoffs. I hate them. Um, I mean, we've asked a lot of our teachers, you know, pay cut after pay cut after pay cut after pay cut. Um, I understand we have to have students in the seats. I get that. Um, you know, I've been asking for this. You know, what with these layoffs, Ms. Davis, what does the what does that look like for us as a district? Have you had any time to put together <coughs> a flow chart that we've been asking for so we can see, you know, you got X amount of teachers out of this school, X amount of teachers out of this school, it's gonna affect those things that we can know now, it's gonna affect this class makeup. Um, but you know, it's it's I don't wanna lay nobody off. I will go on the record right now. Um, Agreed. <laughs> None um, of us are doing you know. But, you know. And the flow chart that uh, you're speaking, I do have one for uh, the staff or admin, but the one that you are specifically talking about, we really won't know that until we see the students to see where we. Yeah, you, you know, know how you are, you're already, know, well, you're sending off layoffs right now, right? Yes. So we can't get a chart as far as how many out of each building we can oh, get that yes, information? Oh, yes, and we, yes, and we did. I think yeah. we asked we asked for that at the last meeting. I remember we talked about this at our workshop, and I did give that to you. But I will look really you quickly did? and tell you again what that was. Um, yes. Right, give me a second. I know you had read off some numbers. Right, and it was by building. Right, and I told you in the mount that was coming from each right. building. And let's see. Okay. Yes, for the front office, I said that was $127,000. We're also looking at supplies and miscellaneous items. That would be 150,000. So uh, That's in the email? No, we we talked Can you about send it out to the board in an email? Mm-hmm. I mean, you can mark it, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mark it, yeah. Okay. And then for Seminole, we said there were seven we're looking at, which is $650,000. For middle school, two, $180,000. King, one, at 90000 The high school, three, at 270000 And ancillary staff was 180000 and that subtotal was one million three hundred seventy thousand dollars for a grand total of one million six forty seven even and the um, reason for that is um, you know making sure that we covered all of the bases and, and took care of what we needed to so but yes I will definitely send those numbers to you, you in an email thank you 
You said the comp day is September this year? Yes. Okay. I, I thought it was like in October. I thought it was October. Yeah. Generally it's yeah. Oh, I it was October. Oh, it's the first it's the first one. First, yeah, I'm first still Friday, old first school. Wednesday. Yeah, it's first October Wednesday or in October. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mr. Brook. Uh yeah, just process wise for this. My understanding is that the superintendent has been in touch with the president of the association, that there's still some negotiation to go on as to even who should be notified. Um, that we won't know what area, if any, until, until we know the number of students. But that we have to, by law, send this out now mm -hmm. in order to be in compliance with the contract. So that's my understanding of the situation. Um, and that if we don't have a decrease in students, then we're okay. But last year, uh, we did have a decrease, and we kept the budget we had, kept the number of faculty that we had, even though we did have a decrease. So we tried, when we could, mm -hmm. to avoid it. This year, the budget is closer. Um, and if we don't, we will have a deficit. Yes. Whereas this year, we're pretty waiting the audit, right. but pretty confident that there won't be a deficit uh, and that we will, in fact, be able to chunk at our operating deficit. So that mm -hmm. will help us right. prevent these layoffs. But we need to be prepared in case. As to whom and what, I leave that all to you guys to figure out. Um, and follow the rules as they should be followed. Yeah, the only thing I'll just ask for numbers per building. Right, I want to right, ask right. For details. Right. I'll just no, ask no, for I know. Per, you know. I was just saying the other part out loud because right. I don't think it had been. Mr. Voiced President, I, you know, I'll home. bring it up right now. I think you know I've grown frustrated on this board because I don't like having these conversations at a board meeting. I think these board these conversations can be had um, when the policies report out because I don't sit on the. Personnel committee policy. You know, I only sit on the on the on the uh, on the uh, policy committee. Um, but I would like to know all that information, as though my fellow board members do in those in those committees. I would like to know that information also before I get to board me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just only fair. Now, and that's I mean, why we, we can go it. to I mean, you know maybe having a meeting of the whole. Um, well, we did talk about this at, at, the, right. at the meeting of the whole. So it's not anything mm -hmm. that's, that's new to, to the whole board because we did discuss this at the last meeting. Right. So it was discussed, and it wasn't done in a vacuum and just done with the personnel committee. It was discussed at the, at the workshop that, that we had. But right. um, if, if there is more information that you, that you like, you know, that, that's no problem because mm -hmm. uh, there's, no, there's no decisions made. You know, everybody right. heard the same thing. And, and going along with, the, with this, these layoffs, you have to throw a bigger net out there than you than you really want to, Understood. because like Ms., like Mr. Bruley said, uh, last year we kept we we stuck with we stuck with the budget, and you know we we kept the same number of faculty. Well, hopefully we can do that again this year. But but by the by the language in the contract, uh, we have to notify people by Correct. a certain date. Correct. In order to do so, so this is just an in case, mm -hmm. and that's why we throw out the big net. Mm -hmm. Because um, there's been years uh, I've served on this board 20, 20, 25 years ago where we'd come in and lay everybody in the district off with the exception of the superintendent. And the next meeting, we'd, be, we'd start bringing people back because by law, we had to notify people by X date right. certain in order to do so. That way you don't, you don't, you don't carry over the expenses if you don't do it correctly. So right. that's why the net is being thrown out there so big. Uh, and hopefully that the net shrinks or the net go, net goes away. Mm -hmm. and that, that depends on the number of students that are in, a, in, a, in a, that comes through our doors. Right. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, it's I, not, I, I, nobody I on this board wants to do this. Right. Nobody on this board wants to do this. I understand everything you said, and yes, I understand by contract. We, you know, my thing is that I just would like, yeah, we had that, we had that meeting or the workshop. That's one time that we talked about it. But there's, you know, the, the the committee meets every month. So, I mean, the superintendent shaking your head. It's just, I like information. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's just how I am. But, Mr. Mark, I have to. I'm not saying that nothing is done, trying to be done behind closed doors or anybody's telling lies, anything like that. I just want to know. That's all. 
And I think and, uh, as a board member, it's my right to know. And you should. Right. But Mr. Mark, I have been talking about this. I told you exactly how much money that we would have to reduce the budget by since March. And we went I, I, I'm over, not disputing that. But Ms. you Davis. said but I'm you not said, disputing that. Yes, but you did say that you, um, you didn't know because other people knew and because you don't sit on these committees. But I don't want the public to think that this was done in a vacuum. That's what I'm saying. I know. Been, I, listen, I don't want the public to think that this. either. That's we've all been I mean. talking about it since March. And I went over each of these numbers at our last workshop. I told you how much, we, and it, that wasn't the first time. But I just don't want the public to think that this is the very first time that uh, you've heard this, or the board members, because I did go over these numbers, and you guys asked a numerous questions at that workshop, and we talked about that. And I asked you for, we've been asking for a flow chart. We've been asking for a flow chart. We've been asking for a flow. What do the district look like? We know that, I'm, I get it, the meats, the, the meat and potatoes as far as what needs to be in what class, what a classroom gonna look like, I'm just, I just need to know. Those are my comments. I'll get you a full chart. <clears throat> Any additional questions, comments, concerns on item eight, uh, budget personnel report? Item nine, June cash flow report. Any questions? Item 10, open purchase order listings. Any questions? Item 11, contract listings. Any questions? Item 12, Mr. Monk, we're going to throw it back over into your court. It's uh, dealing with policies for first reading. You look. Yeah, I'm pulling up in there. All right, you're going to look like, uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we got a new agenda just yet. So I haven't had the, uh, you can have this. Just a second, Mr. President. Well, I got my sheet right here. Okay. Um, it's policy the, uh, the zero one hundred. Pol yeah, uh -huh. policy zero one hundred. Um, and these are all uh, these policies. Um, to the question that Dr. McFadden has, these are definitely federal and uh, state guideline policies that uh, need to be uh, adjusted. We went through these. Um, most of them is, and I'm asking my committee to help me, most of them was just wording. Mm -hmm. um, they took out wording. I think one of them was on a personal community device. It was, mm -hmm. so most of it just wording. You know, we was looking at it like it's a lot of lawyer talk, <laughs> um, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so most of these new, these policies, actually all these policies up for first reading are for state and federal guidelines to, uh, to the policies that need to be uh, adjusted. Okay, we have for the first reading um, policy 0100 definitions revised. Uh, the background history of the policy revived to update to be updated to include social media terminology. Um, <clears throat> policy 7530 lending of board owned equipment revised background history this policy is revised to change the description from district owned to board owned equipment uh, policy 7540 technology revised background history policy 7540 is revised to update to be updated for a comprehensive definition of social media policy 7540.02 web accessibility content apps and services revived Background information policy 7540.02 <coughs> is revised to update one-way communications and ADA compliance. Policy 7540.04, staff technology acceptable use and safety, revised. Background this policy is revised to incorporate the new social media policy. Policy 7544, use of social media, this is a new policy. A background information policy 7544 is a new policy to address social media communications. Those are the policies uh, that are being presented tonight uh, for the first reading. If there's any questions or comments or additions that 
might be able to make because since it seems like this is a state law basically and the state law you got to do it and so there's no adjustments modification right, or change exactly. you got to do it that way uh, if there's any questions comments or concerns you can get those uh, to the members of the policy committee uh, to be vetted out uh, prior to these policies coming back to the board uh, for the second reading and adoption any questions All right. <clears throat> Item 13, superintendent's comments. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I want to uh, thank our summer school staff and the uh, parents sending their kids to summer school is being well attended. And even in the extended day program, uh, the students are uh, coming at, at, we're adding to that number each day. So um, it's very well attended in the, um, and the kids seem to be having lots of fun. So uh, we want to thank the staff, um, families, and communities uh, for um, supporting that program. Our audit um, will be underway starting um, August the 6th through the 17th. And uh, we're working with our new firm, um, Raymond, uh, on that. Um, let's see. And you know, one is the uh, blueprint update. More com um, information will be coming um, about that. We will have a representative from my Excel uh, at the next board meeting to go over because there is a workshop uh, for board members to get a better, clearer understanding of what our blueprint is all about. And um, so I did include them out of um, uh, ring on with your packet just to give you an overview of um, some of the pieces that we've been putting in place and it is a, a building um, a format so we will be you will be getting more information on that so if uh, board members are available to attend we'll have those dates uh, ready for you on that one uh, Clem care uh, will also be doing an update at the next board meeting um, Jill York came last meeting to tell us a little bit more about diabetes in our younger um, students and that's an um, issue so she's uh, trying to get funding for that but she's also working on another grant um, a much bigger one that will uh, include our K through 12 students so that they will be able to um, assist students throughout the district right now they have um, their grant was for 11 years old up to I believe it was 21 something like that but uh, it was mostly um, middle schoolers. So uh, she knows that there's a much higher need with our younger students. So she is working on a grant and she's hoping to have um, some good information for us at the next meeting. Also, um, I wanna thank Josie for filling in tonight for um, Joy Met. she's on vacation. So um, Josie, uh, and tomorrow also, as uh, Mary Campbell said, uh, tomorrow is her last day. Josie has been in this district for over 10 years. Um, she has definitely been a pillar for the department and for all of the staff and community um, members. So everybody knows Josie. I, for one, will <coughs> miss her immensely. <laughs> and I was trying to uh, get her to stay, but I couldn't fight against uh, or compete with her being only 10 minutes from her home and with her uh, young <coughs> son. So, Josie, I do wish you the best. I truly will miss you, missing you already. But um, I know you're going to do well in your district, and I thank you for the heart service that you have given us over the years, and especially to the department. Um, well wishes will be coming probably for the entire year. But um, thank you. Thank you so much for your service. And the last one, uh, Terry McCoy also informed us that she would be leaving her last day, I believe is August the 19th. And when Terry first got here, she had mentioned that her um, life dream was to start her own, her own um, service agency. And she has an opportunity to, to do that. And that's what she, why she is leaving us. Um, Terry came in to do what we thought would be a one-year um, job, and, and she was phenomenal with our students 
and with our um, families. And I believe t she could probably tell you at least 80% of all of the families in this district tell you something about those families and um, the students and who's connected to who. And it's just amazing how she remembers all of the family. So we definitely will be missing her. Um, so when we have our next board meeting, I believe that will um, be her last day or she'll have a couple of days after that. But um, I want to wish Terry well. And again, she's another one that we will um, sorely miss because she has definitely made an impact on our district and especially with our students. So we wish Terry the best too, but um, you, know, you can't uh, compete against a, a, a lifelong um, dream. And it, she has an opportunity to start her own um, practice. So congratulations to her. But she's dead to say that she still wants to work with our district. She is looking into grants now that um, Hopefully she'll uh, be able to get approved and come back next summer and work with our students uh, because she sees the need here and um, she has developed a love for our students and continues to want to help even though her practice will be in Ohio, but um, she will be coming back so we won't see the last of her. Good. Thank you. Those are my comments. Any questions of the superintendent? Mr. Brewley. Uh, just a comment that I want to get in the minutes uh, <coughs> so that we don't forget about it. And that is for the budget for next year. Um, I was a little bit dismayed to understand that the kids who come to summer school have to pay at the high school because they're on a program that requires us to pay them, um, not because we want to charge them. Um, I guess it's the uh, younger kids are 10 bucks, middle school is 20, and these other students, the older kids have to pay 75. Uh, sometimes that's an impediment. Uh, I would like to have in the budget for next year considered that um, there not be a charge uh, for that, uh, understanding our financial situation at the time, but that at a minimum, anyone who successfully completes at the high school level it gets their money back. So that there's also a financial incentive uh, besides an educational incentive to accomplish what people need to accomplish. Um, I'm a little concerned that our program is not so much teacher-centered. I understand that would be much more expensive, but it's more computer-centered. Um, and that, I think, is difficult for those students because they haven't successfully done that once. I'm not sure they're going to successfully do it twice, uh, or, you know, unsuccessfully. So. I would also like to look at something that's a little bit more teacher-centered. I know that's a lot more expensive, but if we start now and look towards next summer, maybe we can figure out some other ways to uh, get it. Uh, because I, I think if a student's willing to come back in the summer, um, we should almost get it more into a mentoring situation rather than a classroom situation so that these kids feel some success. Um, I think if they're willing to give that up, we should pay attention to those kids who are willing to and try to, to figure this out, take obstacles away from them, <clears throat> not put it in front of them. So I know we couldn't do that this year, it's fine. But I think next year we can maybe, as we financially get better, this would be an area I think we could look at to really help us in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brewley. Any other questions, comments? Concerned, the superintendent and her comments. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Item 14, committee reports. Business report. Anybody on the business committee? Ms. Walker. Ms. Walker is not here. Well, Christine and I were there, and we've completed our committee report in the body of the meeting. Oh, thank you. Any additional comments from the policy committee? Um, just a couple. Um, we also um, looked at um, how you pronounce that word. I hear lights pretty. What is it? I, it out. I don't. You're putting me on the spot. Yeah, I'm gonna put my, <laughs> I'm gonna put my board member on the Where spot. I usually be can pronounce it, but I pediculosis. Oh, okay. <laughs> Headlights. Headlights. We uh, we looked at that and talked about that as far as uh, uh, superintendent and her team is, is going to come up with a uh, program. 
um, pertaining to that with the start of the new school year. And also uh, she provided to us a uh, administrative referral form that the district will be using on every student um, um, going forward as far as, and it kind of covers everything as far as uh, discipline, attendance, and um, you know, this, you know, this form with, with every student, every student will have a hard copy, then also the, all the information is put on, on uh, the system. So that way if the system crashes, then we got a hard copy to back up whatever information. Um, and going forward, we had, we had brought this up back when the school shooting happened down in Florida. Um, and that kind of prompted uh, me just reading the background, prompted to make sure that we have all the documentations that we need. So if in case something happened, you know, um, then we can, you know, provide whatever documentation that we need to provide to law enforcement in, in whatever situation that happens with the district. Other than that, everything else I had already talked about in uh, the beginning of uh, Thunder, the adoption policy, and I'll entertain any questions. Any questions of the chair? <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Monk. You are. Curriculum personnel. <clears throat> Yes, Mr. President, how are you doing? Myself, Mr. Brulee, and um, Madam Superintendent met yesterday, and also Ms. Uh, Jensen. And what I went over with the superintendent, because I know a lot of our board members request information, uh, our last meeting here as a group was about a week and a half, maybe. So I told her after every meeting, put it all in the packet. My agenda, my notes, lined out to everybody. So they got everything in here. So if they have any questions, they can look at it. Give me a call, let me know what's going on. But I'll go over what we went over yesterday because the meeting was yesterday, so a lot of people did not be able to see this information. Uh, we did get some good information, um, some positive outcomes. If you look in your packet, the last few pages, which is in the back, you might see it on your printout or on your computer screen, whatever. It says in the back. Yes, it is. Yeah, it State assessment, student growth. Okay. And Page these things one, here. 120, 112. Got it. 112. And this is related to the curriculum. It shows uh, one thing that really popped out in my page. It looks like this, green, yellow, white, and black, what page? something like no. that. There's no page number on it. I think it's 122. Mm -hmm. Mr. Blue and I and um, Ms. Jensen and the superintendent spoke about this in length yesterday. The mean Lee score. That's one right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. So 122 is the elbow in there. Yeah. Right. In the corner. <laughs> and the superintendent yeah. probably helped on this a little bit. But we talked about what was going on at Seminole, yeah. the middle school and the high school. And one of the positive aspects I seen on here was the proficiency mm -hmm. of math, that baseline and actual, and where the state wanted us to be at at 24, 25. Um, but what has been shown here is our proficiency in math at Seminole is 61.78. Yes. And if you look at this chart, it's probably a little confusing to understand. I had to break it down for me yesterday. Uh, look at the baseline in actual. And Superintendent, you can help me out on this. Baseline, yes. is that not the, uh, what the state, what is the state is expect required. us to be at? Right. Actual, yes. baseline is 37.55, and we are currently at 61.78. And if you look at that, it's shaded in green because we have met the state goal for mm -hmm. 1617, 16, 16, and 17, uh, 16, 17, mm -hmm. which surpassed a growth rate of 44.86. Bottom line, instead of speaking numbers, is Seminole put together a program where math was progressed to the point where it, it bypassed the state baseline. Yeah. Either baseline is 37.55, ours is 61.78. So they're doing something right over there. Mm -hmm. And that's the bottom line I want to put out. They're doing something right. Uh, yeah. In the same token, we talked to uh, Ms. Jensen. They're trying to put something together, or they are putting something together, to bring up to the middle school and the high school level also. So on the curriculum, Seminole's doing good. Middle school, we got still a lot of work to do. Uh, me and Ms. Brody talked about it. They got a lot of work still left to do. But they are putting some programs that's working, and Seminole is being a model of showing what's going on. Now, you do see on here that proficiency in language arts is 48.19. The baseline for the state is 49.14. Uh, they know the shortcomings. They're working on that, and they institute a new program or a new phase of the program. Right. 
right. this year to help with the curriculum and seminal, which is uh, going up pretty good, and they're very proud of that. So that's what's happening with that. This chart is very complicated. If you guys have any questions, shoot out there now, because the superintendent's here. She can probably explain some of this stuff to you. I'll help you out the best I can. But Ms. Jensen is the expert. I am just the person to see what's going on. Also, you got any, any questions? So if I'm looking at this chart, you're saying the baseline is, baseline, if I'm un, un, understanding what you're saying, baseline is the state average across the state. What? Yes, what they expect. Okay, that's yes. baseline. That's state, state baseline. Average. <clears throat> Actual is where we're at at the end of 2016, 2017. Correct. So this information is always from a previous year. Yes. If, if I'm reading this correctly. Right. Um, and also give you 17, 18, 18, 19. Um, so. And 17, eight, 17, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 19, those numbers there are what we're looking at projected growth. Okay, okay, over, okay, so those are projected numbers. Right, so you, you go down the line where it said to meet goal of 100%. Right. Because our goal is always to be at 100%. Right, yeah, of course. You know, we're going to shoot for the moon. Right. So <laughs> that's going to be a 4.78 increase. Okay. So if you look at 61.76 and you go up 4.78, okay. that's right. how you get that 66.56. Gotcha. Right. And each year is the same increments, gotcha. 4.78 mm -hmm. to get to 100%. Okay. That's where we. That's what we're looking yeah. at. Now let me ask: Is this K through five, or is this K through three, or is this four and five? This is whole. I mean, these numbers represent K through five in no, Seminole. The ones that are tested are three through five. Okay, through that's five. what I was saying. Okay, right. so this is mm -hmm. three through five. Yes. It's not K through five. It's right. three through five. Because right. the little that's ones five. aren't okay. using this. Three through five. Test. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that. That was, that was yeah. one of my questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And at our workshop, um, we'll go into in the next workshop. We'll go in, in a little more detail, and with that, with the personnel, we also, um, as we talked about at the, I think the board meeting before, that uh, Mrs. Um, Jensen will be our full-time curriculum director um, for next year. So we're making a couple changes um, in that, and then uh, Ms. McCormick will be the principal over at the um, at Seminole so we want to uh, make sure that our curriculum is um, revamped across the board and so we do need a, a curriculum person to help with that so she, instead of doing it part-time she'll do it full-time and Mr. Superintendent since we have the floor the state assessment student growth yes I know we went over it yesterday can you explain this to my fellow board members for the understand what's going on this slide right Find my sheet real quick. This is the one we're looking at, everybody. Okay. Yes, for next year, and uh, Mary knows about this one too. 118. Yes. Uh, what happens with this <coughs> right now, um, student growth is part of teacher evaluation. And um, from 15 FY uh, fiscal year 2015 16 through this current year that just passed, 2017 18, it was only 25% um, of their. Um, evaluation their whole evaluation and starting the next year it will be 40% um, of their uh, total evaluation and uh, so student will be using 20% uh, student growth um, by whatever measures we decide and then the other um, percentage 20% of that 40 will be coming from the state testing state growth and the uh, teachers or grade levels that do not uh, administer state testing will be finding a different tool to uh, use to measure theirs. But just wanted to let you know that the percentages will be changing um, from 2018 into the 2019 school year. And that's a state requirement. Any questions on that? So in future, I just want the rest of the board to be expecting not only my agenda or the agenda of whoever is the chairperson of this curriculum, uh, this committee, you will have the agenda as well as the committee notes that's along with, with this whole process. So you see everything black and white, totally transparent. Now today, you didn't get it because you just had a meeting yesterday. Yeah. So you got it today before the meeting. But hopefully um, we'll have our meeting you know, enough time for you to get it before you get the packet. Those are my comments. Any other questions for me? 
Oh, Mr. Booty, I miss anything? <clears throat> mm -mm. Okay. Oh, that's very good. That's any, it. Any questions, comments to Mr. Dr. Mepad? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Patrick, Community Coalition. Uh, we did have a short meeting last uh, last month. We started meeting at 1 o'clock during the summer months, so we were not as heavily attended as we were in the school year. But uh, we are ramping up our uh, <clears throat> excuse me, projects for the upcoming school year, drug take back day, career fair, and of course, real talk. We'll be doing two of those in the upcoming school year. Uh, Mr. Bunton did indicate he's going to be stepping down as a chairperson. He's not going to be walking away from the coalition, but he's stepping down as a chairman, so we will be looking for some new leadership in our coalition. So if anyone's interested, we'll meet next Wednesday, next week, right here at 1 o'clock. So we're definitely looking for some more, uh, more volunteers to help us out, and if I'll take any questions that you may have at this time. You said Wednesday, right? Okay. Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Okay, Any questions of Mr. Lindenberg? Nope. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Lindenberg. Legislative, I have no report. Dr. McFadden, Athletic Ad Hoc Committee. There has not been an athletic ad hoc meeting. We did talk a little bit about athletics at the curriculum um, personnel meeting yesterday. Um, basically, just asked about structure, um, job descriptions. Uh, more of a flow chart situation with our current coaches, a yearly planning schedule of basically, you know, uh, how the season's going to play out, how it's going to look, uh, year in advance type of um, advanced quarterly, those type of plans right there. We will probably have an athletic ad committee meeting in the future when there's something pertinent or special that comes up the pipeline. Right now, there's nothing there. Any questions? Uh, did I? Driving up, did I not see on the marquee of advertisement for volleyball in August and football game in August? It was posted. Yes, it I was. Did, I did see yeah, that. And I I it went so quickly. Yeah, I, I know. I'm it turning, so I, was like, yeah. I missed sign, it. <laughs> the sign is great, but you only have about four seconds to get it. So basically what you see, we will have football and volleyball this, this Perfect. Fall. Perfect. And I think I saw some of the football players practicing. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're doing conditioning. Yeah, they're not. They're not. not, they're not actually practice yet. Practicing. Yeah. They just getting together and smart things bonding. like seven, seven. You know, you go and work okay. with seven at a time or something like that. Right. Yeah, okay. Any additional questions? Educational Foundation. We have not had a meeting. Um, I saw Mr. Schichtel on two yesterday, and asking for uh, some kind of report from what they gave out at the last um, graduation and he was supposed to get that to me uh, but it has yet to come to me when he sends it to me I will send it out to the board members so you can see uh, what students applied for the local scholarship and uh, what students were awarded and how much they were awarded <clears throat> item 15 board comments Miss Escalante. You always start with me. Ladies yeah. first. <laughs> That's how I was raised. Well, thank you. Been me for two years, so I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, evidently. <laughs> I can't tell if he's picking on me or if he just really wants oh, me to no. go first. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's having a good summer. Um, I've been having a great summer. I want to give a little shout out to my son who's here again max and then my in-laws are here visiting from venezuela all the way here in mount clemens and you yeah, they came to surprise their <laughs> my husband for his 40th birthday so it's been nice to have them in the house and i'm getting a break from the kids so that's the best part about having them all staying with. um i'm looking forward to the school year i know that there's a lot of things that are up in the air right now and i know there's a lot of uncertainties but um i think all of us as a board are on the same page when i say that including with the superintendent that none of us want to see layoffs and you know we want um, we want the numbers so that our teachers are, have security in their jobs and our students can learn from these amazing men and women that come every day to teach them um, and to care for them really I think more beyond teaching they, they care for our kids they love our children so um, I'll definitely be saying lots of extra prayers for this coming school year. So get your kids into our district. This is a good district, I promise you. All three of mine are here. I would not send my kids here if it wasn't. So those are my comments. 
have a safe summer and eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> oh, wait, I do have one more thing. Can, can, can I pass a motion that we can't let Terry or Josie go, or is please, that totally illegal? Please. Okay. Uh. Josie, I'm going to miss you. You're one of the first people I met when I came on as a rookie, and uh, you always made me feel really welcome. So you're going to be missed. Thank you for everything you did. And those are my comments. Once a bather, always a bather. I thought you was going to put a motion. I don't even know. I, I, I would probably thank you. Too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Voorhees. Uh, I, I, too, hope and pray that uh, our attendance will be up so that we don't have to lay off any of our dedicated personnel. Um, I think that the more numbers we have, the, the more teachers we have, the more programs we can have, and the better that this, uh, this we've got a great system, but we just need to make it better. So um, <coughs> enough said on that. The other is, uh, being a dog lover, um, I, I noticed on Facebook that someone has inherited a new dog. Uh, Bruno, Bruno Monk, I believe, has arrived. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> I looked at those paws. <laughs> you got a big job coming. <laughs> He's supposed to get about 80 pounds. Yeah, wow. yeah that's going to be a big, uh, big, big boy. Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you bet. But, uh, and I also want to uh, uh, compliment uh, Miss Escalante on having her son here again. <laughs> I said to him, I said, well, one day you'll sit at this table with your mother. I said, or maybe you'll be governor. And he said, I think I'll be president. So you'll be the <laughs> first mom. <laughs> <laughs> so oh boy. I know it. What you right. like? Yeah. Anyway, with that, right. once a bather, always a bather. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Voorhees. <laughs> Mr. Monk. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, first and foremost, I would like to send my condolences to you and your family. Thank um, you, sir. Um, it's never, um, you know, death is never easy. You, you don't know when it's going to happen. Um, but the Bible says that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Uh, and hopefully you and your family can take comfort in that. And I wish and I pray that the Lord um, keeps his hand on you and your family through this time of transition um, Thank of, you, Mr. Of, of your sister. Um, to, um, I've heard about the parents of Miss Escalante, her husband, husband parents, right? Yeah. I heard you can cook, so I'll be <laughs> over. <laughs> I want some Venezuelan cooking. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, Absolutely. Um, and Santino, it's good to see you. You're looking dapper over there. You look like you're going to be president. So. <laughs> um, again, I wish, uh, you know, all of our students a, uh, a, a safe, a safe rest of the summer. Uh, make it back. Um, get yourselves uh, ready to uh, dive into the books and be educated by our fine, our fine staff here at Mount Clemens Community Schools. Um, I want to thank my board members for being patient with me. Um, I, can, I can be some of a uh, um, um, pain in the butt, but charge it to my, my heart and not to my head. Um, you know, I I'm just, I'm just want the best, and I know everybody else here wants the best. Yeah, and Josie. We got some history. <laughs> Josie came here when I was coaching. And Josie was my ace in the hole for everything. I went to Josie for, you know, I, when your son was born, me and Josie got some history. Um, I used to call her all the time, Mr. Monk, no, Mr. Monk, yeah, Mr. Monk, no, you don't have that, no, yeah, yeah. So a lot of my decisions was made coaching volleyball, basketball, football, um, was uh was was made pertaining to what you told me I can and cannot do. <laughs> uh, so you know what I'm we're family. You know what I'm saying. I, and, and you know I expressed this when I came and visit you the other day. Um, you know we will we hate to see you leave. We hate mm -hmm. to see any of our good people leave. But we understand why you're leaving. You know you have to do what's best for you and your family. And that's 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 the most important thing. Yes. Um, I know you have a, you know, a place in Mount Clemens in your heart. You know, you're going to be, you know, once a bather, always a bather, although you didn't graduate <laughs> from here. Um, but I want to wish you, your husband, and your kids, and everybody 
a a a a good luck, a rah rah. Make you know, I pray that everything you know falls in, and I know it will because you're such a good person. You're such a you have such a warm heart. Yes. And me personally, I'm going to miss you. You know what I'm saying? Just coming by and seeing that smile that you're doing right <laughs> now. Um, it's always a warm smile. Um, you know, you've, out of our nine and a half years, you know, I, I saw that on a, when you said nine and a half years. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you cry. Um, you, I've never seen you get upset. Not one time. That's so that's me, personally. I, you know, that's me. So you should have seen her after she kind of on the phone. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, wish you well. We love you, um, and we'll we'll see you when we see you. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell your husband and everybody we said thank you for sharing you. Thanks. And those are my comments. Thank you, Mr. Monk. Mr. Brewley. Uh, I would like to associate comments with you. Regarding Josie, appreciate it very much. Um, I would also like to make sure before we get out of here, we get a workshop date <coughs> for after the 24th to talk about the attendance policy and try to get that settled before school starts. Short comments. Thank you. All right. Since when you're on that, you want to do it before uh, and you want to try to do it in July, or you want to do well. First of all, and we'll do, we'll do all the comments <coughs> and then maybe. Yeah, then, but just that we take tackle that before we leave. No problem. Dr. McFadden. Condolences to you and your family. You Thank you, sir. I uh, got whatever you need. I'm there for you. Uh, best wishes to Josie and Terry. I want to say thank you. I also want to say that um, summer school has been, uh, not summer school, but the summer program has been very successful. I want to thank Ms. Campbell. Thank you very much because it's been very organized and very structured and very informed, and you never in the never in the dark. And I, I really appreciate that. I mean, she's really on top of everything. So I want to appreciate your whole staff, everybody doing over there. Miss um, <clears throat> Terry McCoy put together a program in the afternoon that's amazing, and I want to say thank you for that because um, it's it's a it's a team effort, and that's what that's what we're going for this year is not just um, everybody getting together doing what they want to do. We got structure. And <clears throat> we talked to the superintendent yesterday, myself, and Mr. Brewley, and we and she's making structure and making for everybody to know what they're doing. So no ifs, ands, and I don't know what happened. So we know what's going on. There's going to be some control around here, and it's going to be what we need done. Um, other than that, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the date that we're going to put together for this workshop where we get this discussion done and over with and get this thing going before the school year start. Those are my comments. Thank you, Dr. McFadden. <clears throat> Thank you <coughs> to the board uh, for your well wishes and condolences on the, uh, the home going of, of my elder sister. Uh, we had our services yesterday. Oh, no, excuse me. Today is what? Today? Monday we had the services. Um, she had colon cancer and mm -hmm. had, had complications in, uh, from the surgeries that she had and could not overcome those complications. Mm. Uh, thank you for your thoughts and prayers. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Lindenberry, I see a alumnus behind the camera today, um, the valedictorian, you know. <laughs> I thought when kids graduated, they'd leave this place and get out of here and don't want to <laughs> see it anymore. But she doesn't want to leave. <laughs> That's, that's the senior class about the tour, and she came back to operate the cameras for us. Thank you very much. You still have once a bather, always a bather. That's right. <laughs> um, here we are in mid-July, and I've got my colleagues telling the kids to get ready to come back. Uh, I'm not going to have them telling the students to get ready to come back. I'm not going to do that this month. <laughs> Enjoy it. It's July, you know. September is a million miles away this month. <laughs> To them, yeah, to <laughs> right, not to us. <laughs> but uh, by all means, uh, continue to enjoy your summer, what's left of it. Uh, I hope the, the weather uh, doesn't run away uh, like it, it could do. Um, that I hope people are all enjoying themselves on uh, recharging and uh, refueling themselves uh, just to, to be ready to tackle it hard uh, beginning in September. Um, I would like to announce <coughs> that there are 
three board seats up for election uh, in November. The filing deadline for those seats is July the 24th, 2018, at, by 4 p.m. Uh, you file by going to the county clerk's office and picking up petitions, or you can pay a fee uh, to be put on the ballot. But there are three seats that will be up for election uh, in November, and the deadline for uh, filing for those three seats uh, is July the 24th, 2018, at 4 p.m. <coughs> Uh, we heard uh, earlier in the discussion uh, about the layoffs, uh, pending layoffs and potential layoffs, and no one on this body uh, wants to have any layoffs. Uh, but in, when we do, there's a process and procedure by which that we have to follow uh, by the union contract, uh, and we have to conform to, uh, to our budget. Uh, and so we do all these things not as a punitive measure, uh, but as a measure to put ourselves in a position that we're, we're not experiencing any additional um, salaries or any additional expenditures uh, because we didn't follow the process. And, and that, that's why uh, we're doing it uh, in the manner that we're doing it. Uh, so just in case, um, we'll, we'll be in a, in, a good, in, a, in a position to be able to do so in order to open school uh, come September. Uh, <clears throat> as I talked about there, uh, we have a schedule uh, for our fall sports. And it looks like we're gonna have varsity uh, girls volleyball and boys football uh, for the fall. Uh, it's good to hear. Um, we'll see the, these young people begin to practice uh, more intensely uh, as the, the official practice date uh, comes due uh, by the state. And so we uh, wish our young people well. Uh, they, will, they will again be uh, participating in uh, fall athletics. Uh, will the voice of the bathers be there? He will be there. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he will be there. He's warming up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's warming it up. That's right. He's warming it up. And to, um, to the staff, um, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your time off. Um, you worked hard all year. We appreciate uh, your efforts. Even though some of the decisions that we have to make, it may not seem as though we appreciate your efforts, but uh, we really do. Uh, but we make decisions based on, the re on, our, on our ability and what we have to do. Um, to Josie, you'll be sorely missed. Um, I know when I run in and out of the office from signing, you know, like Mr. Monk said, you know, you, you, you greet you with a smile, good afternoon, good morning, how you doing, Mr. Rickman, whatever the case of the day is, um, and, and I appreciate that. Um, and that's not even talking about the work that you did and the quality of work uh, that's been testified by the superintendent and, and, and fellow, my fellow colleagues. Um, so we wish you all the, the luck and success in your new endeavors. Uh, for you and your family, and like Mr. Monk said, you know, hey, it, what you have to do what's best for your family, and we, we're part of your family, but we <laughs> we understand, uh, what, you know, why you're doing the things you're doing. The same thing, uh, Miss Miss McCoy, Mrs. McCoy, um, like um, Superintendent Davis said, she, we thought she we brought her in for a 10 month um, experience, um, and she did such an excellent job. Um, with relating to our community and our parents and our students, um, that there was an extension and some other opportunities that came about for her here in the Mount Clemens Community School District, and we were able to uh, maintain her services. Now she has an opportunity to do something that she's always wanted to do um, and is coming to fruition, and we, <clears throat> we wish her well and much success uh, in her future endeavors. and. Uh, if she will, wants to come back to help us out on some things, we'll be more than happy to, to have her come help us out uh, on, on some, some projects and some programs. Those are my comments. Um, which, based on Mr. Bruley, uh, we can the board uh, pull out their calendars and see if we can establish a date uh, to hold a board workshop uh, after the 24th of July is the date. Mr. Bruley. Uh -oh. To be a little bit selfish, I would pick the 25th. 
What do you say? 25. 25 is uh, it's a Thursday. I know it's Wednesday. <coughs> it's next Wednesday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 so it's, it's like we, the, yeah. the internal committee is the 24th, and so it's a Wednesday. It's the yeah. usual school night. And yeah. You can um, <clears throat> want to put it in form of a motion? I would move that we'll meet on the 25th for a workshop. 6.30 good. Or Jason, what about your work? I'm fine, just, you know, early the better. Again, you know, it's, uh, I'm good all the way up to about 8, 15. Then I put you down. 6.30 is great. 6.30? Okay. It's been moved by Mr. Bruley to establish July 25th um, at 6.30 p.m. for a board workshop here in the administrative uh, off work, work area. Support. Second by Dr. Matt Fadden. Any additional questions, comments, concerns on the motion on the floor? And the motion is to establish uh, September, ah, September, July the 25th, 6.30 p.m., right here in this workspace uh, for a board workshop. Do we need to have a topic for the workshop or just say workshop? Yeah, just board workshop. Okay. Any additional questions, comments on the motion on the floor? Hearing and seeing none, call the roll, please. Mr. Bruley? <coughs> yes. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. Those are my comments. The chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Dr. McFadden. Support. Second by Mr. Monk. <clears throat> Any questions, comments, concerns on the motion on the floor to adjourn? Hearing and seeing none, call the roll, please. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Mr. Bruley? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. Meetings adjourned at 7.50 in the p.m. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.